He had to have been probably the most intense catch you ever worked with, Randy Savage, correct? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll give you how intense. At Thanksgiving, like our angle had started on my birthday in April. So now it's Thanksgiving, and this guy, he's made me. You know, he's put me in that spot. You know, and, you know, Kevin and Scott, they, they lit the rocket. He took it home. And, uh, he, um, I had a lot of people back then. Remember, we all had pagers back then. So I was getting all these pages from people. Happy Thanksgiving, D. Thanks so much for helping me, you know, get in the company. I helped like 30 guys get jobs. So I had a lot of guys that were, you know, being very appreciative at Thanksgiving time. I'm thinking, who am I thankful to? After about like the 28th one, I'm like, fuck, who am I thankful to? Besides Dusty, Jake, my family, you know, people who I who know, because I would tell them all the time. I, I always say there is no Diamond Dallas Page without Dusty Rhodes. I mean, I've said it thousands of times. I never forget where I came from. And I'm thinking, well, who else doesn't know? And I go, fuck, Randy doesn't. I'll bet you he doesn't know how much I appreciate this. So I pick up the phone. And I leave him a message. I go, hey, Randy, uh, I go, this is going to sound really corny, but, uh, you know, I got uh, a bunch of people tweeting me, happy Thanksgiving and thanking me for helping them out, you know, getting their job here and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, who am I thankful for, man? And I think, fuck, Randy Savage, dude, I've got to call you and thank you for, for really helping me get to this spot. It's, I couldn't have done it without you, man. I'm, I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I hung up. Well, the next week, he's not the TV. I think he's on vacation. So it's like two weeks later. And I see him backstage. And when he, you know, he, the way he walked around sometimes, that was that motherfucker in the back, too, when you know right. that. You know, he's wired different. And when he sees me, he goes, Diamond, Diamond, come here, come here. I'm thinking, fuck, what did I do? You know? <laughs> so I'm walking over to him, he grabs me, and he pulls me off. He goes, come here, come here, come here. He goes, I got your message. And I got to tell you, and he's fucking looked like he's going to kill me. You know, <laughs> his eyes are fucking all wound up. He goes, I got your message. And I, uh, I called my dad up and I played it for him. And I said, dad, does any of the boys ever do that for you? He goes, no, Randy. He goes, I never even heard of that before. <laughs> and he goes, that's what I thought. He goes, Diamond, I just want you to know it meant a lot. And he gave me a really big hug. It was like, that's how intense that cat was, you know? Man, I tell you what, I, I just, uh, I remember you've told me that story before, but I always love hearing that. And, you know, that's, uh, uh, that, that was a heavy duty cat. I wish he was still around. 